I'm going to take the Datsun for a thrash today, maybe go catch some trout. Pretty lucky on the west coast here, it's open season on a lot of the main rivers downstream from the highway, so we're going to see if we can get a lagoon fish. There might be a few serin in the moment because white bay season is just around the corner. This is my brother all the way from Canada. You may remember him as uh, Matthew or Donk um, if you went to high school with him. And my brother-in-law all the way from Christchurch. I'm not sure what Bodie's nickname is. Uh, if any of Bodie's mates from back in the day see this, feel free to comment on this video and uh, let us and the general public know what Bodie's nickname was. So, me, Donk and Bodie going fishing. You coming too, are you? I know you guys got to go to the school disco. I know. Dad! Oh, what's that? It's a thank you card from your mum. Made out of lead. A lead <laughs> thank you card. We may be able to make some more sinkers for fishing. Here you go, Jack. Hang on to that for me, bro. Piece of lead. Yep. See you later, boys. Bye. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Watch out. Oh, ye of little faith. Thought we were going to sink then. The truck started floating a little bit. She is all good. Uh, we've got down here, but I think the river mouth might be blocked because there's a shitload of water in this lagoon and there's no current at all, so the trout could be anywhere in here. Uh, they won't be rising, they'll be chasing small fish, so probably a, a waste of time even getting the flow out. So we're going to drive down south along the beach to the next river mouth and oh shit look at that don't move bro there's a massive one right there this real man there's bits and pieces missing from it left right center um this is a family show mate could you please not swear Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> had a, a few problems the, the screws have fallen off my reel hey, that hopefully it'll be in there in the box somewhere oh, found i found it. it primo bloody hell <laughs> sure is it'll be on the back uh, we were going to drive down to the next river mouth, but I just spotted a massive brown cruising right next to me as I was shooting shit on the side of the bank there. Hopefully he didn't see us. I don't think he did. He cruised past us, turned around, and then came back up again. Uh, quite a big, decent-sized brown, maybe seven or eight pound, doing the beat. I'd say he'll be just cruising up and down the bank looking for stray whitebait. So we're going to put a streamer imitation on, whitebait imitation. Just uh, chuck it in there, strip it out, and see if we can nail them. What, what are you tying there, Matt? Just kick Oops. my beer over. All right. I'm tying a double fisherman's knot here. Oops, didn't go so well. Let's try that again. It's always worked for me. I don't know what I call it. I call it a kiwi knot. So. This is the kiwi knot only because he lives in Canada and he doesn't know what it's called so when he's fishing over there he tells people it's called a kiwi knot uh, I'm going to google it and find out what it is but you put about seven or eight twists on each side and then you put the ends of the line through a loop in the middle of those twists so you put each end opposite ways through that loop wet it, pull it tight and it is supposed to look not like that but that, there we go there you go, it's good can we see that? Hold it up for the viewers there, Matt. It's average. It might work. It might not. We'll okay. find out once the fish is on. Yep. What are you doing there, bro? Burning the ends of the knot. So, I'm trying to burn the ends of the knot. So, it ends up with a nice little round piece on each end. Yep. And that way, if it slips through the knot, it doesn't go anywhere. And what, what's that fly called there, Bodie? I don't know. You told me. <laughs> That's the Hikarangi streamer. Fly. Streamer. Marabou, I think it's a marabou streamer, it's called or a rabbit fur fly. It's just a white bait imitation. It doesn't have any rabbit fur, marabou. It's got a bit of streamer on there, but there's no bar marabou or rabbit fur on there, so. Do you call that the kiwi knot too, do you? No, it's the fisherman's knot, mate. The fisherman's knot. Double fisherman's or just the fisherman's? Just the fisherman's. The knot that our uncle David I think you'll calls. find that every knot Matt ties he calls it the fisherman's knot and if it looks slightly technical he'll say it's a double or triple fisherman's. <laughs> oh, fails the kiwi knot. Here you go. Show us how it's done. Oh you want me to catch it? Well it's your show. Matt, uh, Matt wants me to catch the fish now. Try another flight. 
Okay, it appears that the line's not sinking. So, we're going to change for a heavier fly. It's either built to run with a sinking line or there's no lead tied into it. So, yes, we will try this again. Boys are over retying. Let's go and see what they're up to. This is the, the kiwi knot. It's a fisherman's knot. Well, Bodhi says he's seen a rise back here, so they could be hitting the surface here. I thought I might have heard Take two. Action. In Canada, you don't wear black when you're fishing because it spooks the fish because they think you're a bear. Over here, you just try and blend in with the background by the looks of it. Josh is dressed all in green. Sneaking along. Trailing his line behind him. Let's look at the technique. There was a real good one up here. He's just cruising up, but I slapped the line down right on top of him and he took off. I think I cocked that one up. Decided to give it to the older brother, show me how it's done, seeing as I'm not having any luck. There was four or five browns cruising here before, but because of the ripple on the water, we couldn't see them. And now that it's cleared up, I think they've seen us and we've spooked them all. We just saw flounder down there. I think we'll come back tonight with a spear and see if we can spear a few flounder. Uh, it was a bit of a case of not having the right equipment for the job there. I've only got a, a floating line on and a box of dry flies with one stream. If we had had sinking line, then we probably could have got it down there and put a streamer on and caught one of those fish. I'm not much of a streamer fisherman, I prefer the dry fly. I've only got a dry fly set up. And, uh, we'll go down and try the other, other river mouth further down there, see what we can see. Bodie's just down there seeing if he can spot a fish at the moment. I think we've uh, spooked the five or six browns that were cruising along here. Uh, it's too much bloody gorse and blackberry and shit through here. We're not dedicated enough to get our feet wet and keep on down the side. Now we're going to go to another river mouth. Take the easy option, drive down the beach. The heater system's filled up with uh, with water too. I just steam my window up. No, it's not. It's just the sauna function. <laughs> All good, Matt. All good, Josh. Good to be back in New Zealand. Great to be home. Uh, just occurred to me that we should probably uh, try to start it before we stopped it, and then I stalled it, and now it won't start. I think the alternator got a bit of water in it. We had the heater on full all the way down the beach and the battery was slightly flat anyway. And it sucked all the juice out of it. Now we're 12 kilometers from home, <laughs> way the hell down the beach with a flat battery. We're gonna take the hubs out of uh, four wheel drive. We're on a little bit of a hill here, so hopefully we'll be able to pop it in third and jump it just enough to get us going again. Fingers crossed. Been a bit of debate going on whether we should just, I reckon we just jump in it. Oh, I jump in it and these two jokers push me down this little bit of a hill here and pop it in third and try to turn the starter motor as we're going. Matt reckons we push it back up the hill and uh, Bodie's just keeping his mouth shut. Could be a long evening. We've got to light it so we can light a big fire if we need to before we walk home. Come on guys, push! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no worries! Oh ye of little faith. Apparently you're not as dumb as you look, bro. <laughs> nice job. Hey, I'm not as dumb as I look. Thank God for that, because we really got stuck down here. <laughs> not over yet. It's a new day, isn't it dogs? Hey? And uh, on this fantastic day in paradise, we are going to 
replace a universal joint in Smitty's truck. I think it's uh, been vibrating quite a lot the last couple of months, so we've tracked it down to the center bearing or one of the universals, so we're gonna take that out and then go for a mission. First of all, though, we're gonna go get some firewood off the beach. Hey, dog, get up, get up. There you go. Damn it. Just had a uh, hit a bit of a rock there and rooted my teeth. Uh, it's a bit of a bugger. I just hit a rock and, and didn't even notice till I hit ground into it about three or four mil and I've totally buggered my chain up. I should still be able to sharpen it, but I don't have my flat file so I can't get my depth gauge, get my rakers, which is a right proper bar. So I'm gonna have to take about three millimeters off every tooth to get it sharp again. So it'll probably be here for about 10 minutes or so. Filing these damn teeth back. She's pretty loaded up. I reckon we have the hand of the jandle though. I got a wee problem because my chassis is bent at the front. The toe in and toe out of the wheels is like this and uh, it's not getting equal pressure on all four wheels and it's in four wheel drive. But I don't have diff lockers on this thing. And the sand's pretty soft up the beach, but we're just going to put it in low range and gun it, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to get down there without getting stuck. What kind of knot is that, Josh? That trucker's hitch. This is the, the shed of manness. The man shed. The man shed. What's this? It's a bit dark in here. Can't see much with the camera. Blimmin' massive deer antlers hanging from the roof. Massive tar horns. More tar horns. Oh, that whale vertebrae. Forgot about that. Dude, we're gonna have to go grab that bloody vertebrae we stashed. Right, what's going on, Smitty? Ah, uh, well, last night driving home from work, my uh, UJ in the rear of my truck crapped itself. So I had to pull my drive shaft off and lock and fall, drive and come home and uh, front wheel drive, which wasn't the best, but yeah, so I've just been mucking around today, putting a new UJ in, new center bearing, and uh, hopefully it gets rid of the vibration that I've had for over six months. I was meant to help him put it in, but I got hung up cutting firewood and then interrupted by a cup of tea. We were going to recreate um, taking the old Universal to bits, but we can't be bothered. So there it is. Good work, Smitty. Good work. You're right under there, Smitty. I'm all right. Thanks for helping me. No worries. I'll come around and help you. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite choice being the cameraman. I'm helping, but uh, I'm just directing, telling them what to do and where to put it. How's it going under there, Smitty? Oh, it's great. I just love fixing stuff. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. How lucky the wind's going that way. Uh, it's corned beef we had for lunch. So, oh, how are you doing, Lucas? I'm good. You helping too, are you, bro? Not really. Oh, you're not really helping. <laughs> I'm just part of a stick, oh. snapping it. I see. I have to say, this is a mean truck. Uh, this truck is currently for sale. $10,000, 2.8 diesel, 1994. Mint condition, it's got a two inch lift. Is that two inch? It's probably bigger, isn't it? Two inch body lift, two inch spring lift. Two inch body lift and a two inch spring lift. Uh, come with Warren of Fitness Rego, it's got a snorkel, ball bars on it. Has it got a winch? No. Nah. No winch. Don't need a winch. Don't need a winch, but it's no rust, it's pretty straight. Um, it dries really nice, well it will drive really nice once this new universal joint goes in it. So if you're keen to, uh, to buy this truck, just drop me a line or drop Smitty a line. Spotlights. Uh, it also comes with extractors, which are, is a huge bonus in a diesel engine because that sucks the heat away from the head and prevents the head cracking and head gaskets going. Snorkel, did I say snorkel? I can't remember if I did or not. Um, here's a chassis there, shot of a chassis. Brand new gearbox two years ago, brand new. Not rebuilt, brand new. Uh, brand new gearbox two years ago, brand new, not rebuilt, brand new. Hi, I put... 
That's screwing. Did you? Shot, bro. Ah! Hey, little A. Uh, we just um, found little A in the Subaru, in the legacy down there, trying to start it. <laughs> so, where you little, where you, bro? Yeah, you're in there turning the key over and got it humming. Oh, we've relocated. Come to Hokitika, go fishing down the river mouth. Had a bit of adventure last night. We went floundering, <laughs> three of us in the canoe. We ended up going way down the lagoon, then we tipped upside down, and everyone got wet. I didn't bring my camera, thank Christ, because uh, it would have got wet and buggered. <laughs> but it was, we didn't get any flounder. Uh, didn't get any of anything, actually. We saw two little flounder, and that was it. So we're here to catch some mullet today with, with young Charlie. What are we doing today, bro? I'm catching mullet. Oh, yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Well, you got to go get your rod ready. What that right then over there? Seagull. Uncle Matt's getting uh, the rods ready for the boys. What's, what kind of knot is that, bro? <laughs> it's a will knot. It's a what? A will knot. A will knot. Will not come undone. Did you get any bites, Charlie? Well, I got one. I yanked it. And I got it. The fish got off, did it? Bugger, how about you, Jack? Did you have any bites? None bites. None bites. What about Uncle Matt? Has he got any? Not going to get a bloody fishing show on TV if we can't catch any fish, eh? It's been happening a bit too often lately. Lots of fishing, no catching. Can't see more to my hand bite and feel. Oh, uh, little nibbles. Maybe cow eye. Maybe go try catch a cow eye. That's a bloody good idea. Charlie reckons we go catch a cow eye. So why, why is that hard then on my line? What's that? Why's that hard fell on my line anyway? Oh, you got a snag, have you? I could feel some bites. What's that? Well, I was winding in there, and when I stopped, I could still feel some bites. Really? It might have been bumping along the bottom. And then your car wire lures in there? I don't know what you're talking about, the way car wire lures. That one might work. You can't remember what a car wire lure looks like. That's Jesus, bro, you've been in Canada too long. I've seen all sorts of car wire lures. What are you talking about? Should we go home, go to the lagoon, bro? Oh. No. We're going to stay here for a little bit. Oh. Uh, no fish, so we're going to hop in the loser cruiser and go back home to the lagoon. See if we can catch a trout down there. Well, no mullet, no kawai. We didn't quite make it down for trout fish. And after last night's dismal effort, down at the lagoon where we fell out of the bloody canoe and got soaked, we've decided to upgrade from the canoe, which uh, is your old canoe, to a raft, a bit more stable and chances of falling out of the raft, pretty slim. It's got my older brother on the job there, working like a dog.